the Large Hadron Collider. I'll get straight to the point. I believe that this huge gadget has been built for one purpose only, and that is to disrupt a hole in the Van Allen belt which surrounds the Earth. What for? To allow the return of the Anunnaki from the planet Nibiru in order that they can come here, corrupt the rest of the Earth and do battle with God at Armageddon. How have I reached such an incredible conclusion about a piece of machinery? A huge piece of machinery, mind you. Uh, the biggest uh, piece of machinery that has ever been built on the face of this earth. The most powerful piece of machinery ever built. The most expensive piece of machinery ever built. Allegedly, this is to find a proton, uh, a particle, uh, called the Higgs boson. Now, this particle has been nicknamed uh, by the scientists, Freemasons, same thing, um, as the God particle. That's the first point I'd just like to cover here. Um, if you uh, comprehend this, you'll understand that what they're telling you is that there is no God. There is a particle that's responsible uh, for creating all of us. So, that's the first thing. This is a satanic lie to take your mind away from the Lord Jesus Christ and onto some uh, particle that may or may not exist. Secondly, we're told that um, this device... Uh, can create micro black holes. But it's alright because these micro black holes uh, are so small that they will evaporate. What rubbish! Um, a schoolboy knows that a black hole is a collapsed star, but it has incredible mass, mass beyond measurement, which can drag anything. Um, apparently, it can, e it can even bend light. That's how powerful it is. But it's made of mass. Now, this machine is a particle accelerator, not a mass collector. So, it's not going to uh, create a black hole. That's not possible. Okay, so, they're telling us that micro black holes would appear. They're rubbish, absolute rubbish. Don't believe it for a moment. Um, moving on to the next bit. We're told that it's, uh, it, it, it could open gateways, a stargate, to uh, another dimension, to another universe. Well, it depends what you, what you comprehend as a dimension. Yeah, again, this is all deceptive. Let's just take one look, one look here before I come back to this. Um, 33 countries participated in the building of this device. 33 just happens to be uh, the highest Masonic number. A oh, coincidence, of course, just like everything else they tell us is a coincidence. The, the person overseeing uh, this uh, project... Um, has the title Director General. Well, Director General uh, is a Masonic title. Oh, just another coincidence to add to the, to the millions of others. Let's get back to this, uh, this dimension, these dimensions and dimensional travel. I'll explain to you what a dimension really is. Okay? This is a physical machine and it, is, it, it, and it is capable of physical functionality. It's not capable of spiritual functionality. Okay? So, whatever this... Uh, this dimension and this stargate is going to be, it's going to be physical. Um, and the reason that I believe that this is the case is, like I said at the beginning, that th this device is so huge and powerful, it's, it's, a, it's a giant electromagnet, it's immensely powerful, and it can be used for directing an electromagnetic beam upwards into the Van Allen belt and disrupting a hole. A hole into another dimension, a stargate. Why? Because if, for instance, I take a box, here's a box, I can measure inside that box. I then have the dimensions. It's a physical form. I come out of the box, I'm in the dimension of the world. If I leave the planet Earth, then I'm in the dimension of space. So, in order to get out into space, because I can't get through the Van Allen belt, I need a gate through the Van Allen belt. I need to make a hole there in order so that I can leave. The Van Allen belt is so powerful that anything living that tries to get through it will be fried to crispy bacon. This is why the moon landings never happened. It's, it's a complete and utter lie. And it was all part of the setup for this machine to allow Satan and the Nephilim to re-enter the earth. We're also told that it could uh, create strange matter. 
Well, what's that supposed to mean? What, what, what is strange matter? Uh, the only thing that could be strange that would come into this earth would be the Nephilim and, Str and Satan. They are strange matter to this earth. The fallen angels uh, came from somewhere else. And the Bible tells us about the angels that left their first place and sinned against God. Well, they left their first place. Obviously, they came here. It says so in Genesis 6. And they took the women because they were beautiful. They lusted after them. They had sex with them. And they had children with them. The firstborn being the great giants who ate people. They were an abomination. They caused desolation everywhere that they went. So how did they get here? They just fell from the sky? Well, that's ridiculous nonsense. They must have come from somewhere. And they are fallen. Let's remember that. They are f fallen. They do not have uh, the authority uh, of God that they had before. They still have uh, positions which need to be taken away in a specific way as God has decreed. But they do not have the authority that they had beforehand. They need to travel from wherever they came from. Now, the, the uh, Bible tells us, Mystery, Babylon, mother of all prostitutes, and abominations of the earth. And we know that an abomination is a Nephilim. And that this all started in Babylon. This machine is capable of a very, very powerful blast of electromagnetic power into the Van Allen belt, creating a stargate, if you like, a doorway to another dimension, the dimension being the dimension of space. We all know, or we should all know, that Nibiru is back on its way. It's just around the corner. Space travel is very, very difficult. Obviously, they can't, you can't change direction in space. It can't be done, which is why, for instance, when satellites um, are, are sent out, they have to use other planets in order to uh, change direction. So, they, from Nibiru, the Anunnaki, if you want to call them that, just call them Satan, and, and, uh, and the devils that are with him, need a, a window of opportunity, which means that Nibiru and the Earth have to be in a specific placement before they can fly from Nibiru to the Earth. And then they have to get through the Van Allen Belt. Now, the Van Allen Belt, uh, Van Allen Belt as I said, is incredibly powerful. There must be a hole. That's what this machine is for. We're also told that... Um, this device could cause a few problems. Um, they, there could be some release of cosmic rays. Well, of course there could. If you make a hole in the Van Allen belt, cosmic rays will come into the earth. The Bible tells us of a time when people will be covered in sores and boils. Maybe this is the time. The Large Hadron Collider is allegedly going to be switched on at full power this summer 2008. You could be seeing flying saucers by this summer. Whether this is just another test run and the, they'll do it again next year or the year after, I really don't know. I can't tell. But what I do know is, is that this is the perfect contender for the return of the Antichrist. The EU building is built in the same pattern as the Tower of Babel. Doesn't that tell you a bit more? All of the European coins have blasphemous depictions on them. This is what I believe this machine is for. Your comments are very welcome. You can tell me that I'm nuts if you like. Let's hear a better theory.